All right, what's going on guys? Bearded Brad here. We are down in the Everglades on the side of the road, trying not to get ran over. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of fishing this morning. We're gonna go after some snook, some tarpon, go a little further east, go after some exotics, just see what all we can get on down here in the Everglades, while we also try to not to get ran over or eaten by an alligator. Oh, right next to the highway, but uh, it's super hot down here. We are on the way to the Keys. Decided to go through Highway 41. Try not to get ran over by big trucks. And uh, to see what all we can get on down here. So uh, stopped in here. We're gonna be at the Keys in a couple more hours. Uh, I'm gonna do a lot of cool fishing down there. So make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss all the Florida Keys fishing. But today's video, we're fishing the Everglades. Let's get after it. Well, we got tied on a three inch NLB in. We got traffic. <laughs> Try not to get ran over here. First cast in the Everglades. The water is pretty dirty here. Dirtier than I remember it being last time. See if that's going to be an issue. I'll try up under this bridge here. There we go. Ah, that was a fish. First bite of the trip. Swing and a miss. I just told him there's gators and he's walking down the pipe on the bridge. Hey, just trying to get fish. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> he gets eight and we have to go home. <laughs> All right, spot number two. NLB in, still rocking it. This water looks a lot better than the first spot we stopped at. Big old gator over there. This place is like crazy. I just had a tarp and it broke me off. Dang it, Chris. What? I just had a tarp and it broke me off. I'm just saying, dang it. All right, y'all, got another NLB in tied on here. Bumped up a little heavier on the leader. I got 30 pound now. Um, I'm not sure if these tarpon are gonna be leader shy anyways, but had 15, he broke it off as soon as I set the hook. So, see if we can get him to eat again here. Buddy's gonna get ate by an alligator over there. <laughs> Dude, there's something when you walk back there. There's, there's something up underneath the bridge. I, I hear him. I'm gonna have to try to cast under there. <coughs> They're freaking hammering baits. All right, I'm gonna switch over to a little top water now, see if these fish will blow up on top. They've been busting on a bunch of bait, so I'm thinking they will hit a top water. What you got, Christina? Snooky! Yes! First fish of the Everglades trip so far. Chris got him a little snooky snook. That was on the live bait or NLB in? Oh, I got your uh, little lure on there. Nice. Heck yeah. Beautiful snook on the three inch nlb in nice work up under the bridge yeah just cast see if they'll eat top water up under there yeah. oh! Yeah. Oh. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Holy crap. Get out here. Get out here. Snook on the top water. Oh. All 
Oh, hold up. Nice. Get it. Check it out. Snook on the top water. The old moonwalker from Salt Strong. All right, y'all, check it out. First snook on the trip down here in the Florida Everglades. He's a good one too, probably pushing 30 inches. Hit the top water up under this bridge. These fish are going nuts up under there. I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. See if we can get us another one. See ya, buddy. All right, let's see if we can get us another one up under the bridge here. Dude. Eat it. He ate it. Oh, it's a giant. That's a big one. That's a big one. Oh, get over here, get over here. Oh, he took me another one. I just got smoked by a big one. Yeah, he came out and then went in the middle and broke me off on the concrete. That thing was huge. You just gonna catch baby fish all trip or are you gonna get any big ones? Hey, you got two and I got one, so I can't complain too much. Can't talk crap when you're catching more fish. Oh, oh. Got him. Oh! What is this? Oh. <laughs> I got a stick! I just got it out of the way. Stick fish. I was like, dude, I got something big. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, did you get one? Oh, you su you'll suck again. There's so many fish up under this bridge. All right, it's starting to rain us a little bit, so we're going to go get in the truck, cool off, rehydrate because it is hot as balls out here. Uh, move on to the next spot and see if we can get us some more fish. Awesome to catch these snooks here on the Everglades. Wish I could have landed that tarpon. He broke me off as soon as he ate. Too light on the leader, I guess. Then that other big snook that ended up taking me on the other side of the bridge broke me off in the concrete. But uh, it's looking promising. We got a lot of time here to fish before we get to the Keys. So uh, should be a good time. Y'all stick around. All right, made it to a new spot here. Already seeing some fish rolling. Chris, he's getting them. Coming right out here. They're under the bridge. Yeah, I can see them popping. Oh. They're munching down there. Got them. Got them. Oh. That's a decent one. That's a decent one. Get out of here. We gotta keep it off the concrete. Oh! Woo! All right, y'all, snook number two. Choking these NLBNs. This one's a little bit fatter than the first one, but uh, probably a little bit shorter. But these fish are such a cool fight. Cruz is behind the camera. We gotta get him hooked up one more now. Send this guy back. Yeah, buddy. All right, got a new NLB in on here. Going back under the bridge. Oh, oh, got him, got him. Come here, buddy. Oh, get out, get out. Ah! They are straight munching these NLBNs. Here, um, it's easier for me to throw my rod under there. Let me throw mine and see if you can catch it on my pole. Got him, got him. Baby snook. You. At least you're getting snooks. Heck yes. Woo, easy buddy. Three or four? Uh, four here. Five total. Switch to a little jerk bait here. Choking it. 
These fish are so pretty, so fun to catch. See ya, buddy. Cruzy, cruise, you gotta get you one. Cruise, cruise, here, here, here. Put it down here. You just gotta keep the line off the concrete. Get him. Ah, I said off the concrete. It was off the concrete. Ah. I'm gonna rig you up another one. Cruzy. That was your chance, bro. That was a perfect cast. If this doesn't catch a fish, I don't know what will. Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a stick. Thought I had a fish. They are blowing up like crazy under there again. All right, we got this little crankbait tied on here. We're a little further east on Highway 41. Got some exotics. Got some peacock bass. See what'll eat the crankbait here. Chris got him a good one. Get him up, Chris. Get him up, Chris. Nice. No. Oh. Well, nice catch, Chris. Oh, got him, got him, got him. Oh. Come on. Nice. Such a beautiful fish, dude. Check it out, buddy. So Peacock bass. Yeah, did you get that on camera? I did. These things are so... Why? <laughs> Please. I wasn't scared. <laughs> All right, first peacock bass of the trip. Going back. Cruz is trying to get his. See ya, buddy. <laughs> he was in a hurry. Yeah, there's snook everywhere out here. Come on. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. <laughs> he chased it and left him. I'm seeing like they're really feeding right now. There's so many snook at the end. Seriously? They're everywhere. Is anybody fishing for them? Yeah. They're not eating right now. Oh, they're not? I got a bait from somebody and I couldn't get eight for nothing. But when that tide starts coming in, all those snook will probably come Is in here. Bait to catch down Tons there? of them. So we can catch bait down Yeah. Catch they're bait. catching them on sabiki. All right, Brant's gonna try to throw the cast net for us. There's a lot of boat traffic though. This could be a little bit sketchy. Don't lose the net. Yeah, got him. Got a couple of them. Nice job, Brant. All those years of being a captain paid off. There he is, there he is. Grab him. I'm gonna get him out of the net. All right, at least we can start. Yeah, it's enough to get started. What you got, bro? You got a snook? Yeah. Nice. Was that a little NLB in or? No. A little shrimp or something? Nice. First nook of the afternoon from my new buddy Brad. Heck yeah. On the artificial. All right, the dude Brad just caught a snook. Brant just lost a snook. Jack just lost a tarpon. Tide is changing, bites turning on. Got a little LY here. Pilchard, scaled sardine, whatever you want to call it. When this tide starts coming in, these snook are coming off the beach and roaming these rocks. So we're just rocking, walking these rocks here, looking for some fish to pitch at. Brand's on again. Woo! Dude. That is wild, dude. He spit the hook. He didn't fry me off. He just spit the hook. Did you see him rolling? Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. There's a bunch of bait popping out there. So I'm just going to sling one of these baits out. Let them free line. See if come, something will come up and eat them. My bait's getting antsy. Come on, baby. There he is, there he is. Got him. Got him. Oh! Oh, he's back on, he's back on, he's back on. Got him, got him. Nice. Oh, that's a big one, I think, dude. Come on, baby. The second we got out here, dude, four baits, four hookups. What an insane start to the afternoon. He ain't jumped yet. It looks like a tarpon. Oh, there he is. 
Dang. He got me. Oh, he spit the hook. Second hookup on a tarpon of the trip. First one broke me off, that one pulled hook. I wasn't sure it was a tarpon because it took him a minute to jump. There's still a bunch of bait popping out there, so we're just gonna flip our, dang it. We're gonna, we're running out of bait. We didn't catch a bunch. So uh, we may have to go catch more baits here in just a moment. Oh, dude. Yep, come on, come on, come on. He's headed toward my bait. He's headed, hey, 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 hey. I got a bait out there. Brand trying to snipe my tarpon. Oh, look at that, look at him. Brand, to the right, to the right, to the right. To the right, look at all that bait. Dude, there's fish blowing up in that bait. Holy crap. There's fish blowing up everywhere. I need a new bait. I'm hooking these LYs in the belly. It helps them swim down. There's a bunch of fish blowing up on bait down here. All right, we got to get eight pretty quick here again. Oh, that's me. That's me. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. No. Oh, we got to loosen the drag. We got to play a much lighter drag than I'm used to here. Oh, another tarpon. Another tarpon. Oh, excuse me behind you. Another tarpon here. We're using light leader, so it's very tough to keep these tarpon pinned. Woo! Come on. Brian, I may need your help this time. This tarpon keeps going back and forth. Oh. Doing this, all this on these rocks is sketchy. Come on, baby. Be good to me. Get out of the rocks, get out of the rocks. Oh, come on, baby. Brent, come here. Woo. Oh, boy. Every time he jumps, he scares the crap out of me. Don't want to lose this fish. Oh, wow, is that a turkey? Yes, sir. All right. Come on, baby. Easy does it. Bring him right to you, Brant. Okay, we better go fishing right here. That leader's chafed. I got you, I got you. Easy, baby. Easy, baby. I don't have like. I know, I know. This is the sketchy side of the jetties. Yeah, that, that's going to be a little small. I appreciate it, though. Oh, he's on the rocks. No, get up, get up, get up. That, could, uh, that net actually might work. You want to yeah, try it? Yeah. I, I can get like Woo! I can get some Easy, baby. I've got a baby dragon, that thing. All right, we're going we're gonna to try to net him with this little net here. <laughs> it's at least going to help us get him here. Then we can grab him. That leader is so chafed. Easy does it. Trying to work this dude with some light drag. Ah. Oh, look at all that bait. Dude, fish are blowing up all over that bait. There's fish all over this bait. Lip him, lip. Just lip him. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you, Brent. Thank you. Well done. Sorry I didn't have Oh, that's all right, man. That is all right. Oh, we can't gaff them. Oh, you're not allowed to? No, no, they're protected. Well, although I wasn't able to put my hands on that fish, that is a caught fish. Brent got his hands on it. We had the leader. Such a cool thing to catch these tarpon down here on this inlet here, right off the land. So freaking cool. South Florida is a special place. We gotta get re-rigged back up because fish are blowing up all on this bait. See if we can't hang us another one. Get a picture with it. Let's go. All right, re-rigged, got a new live bait here. Oh, Brad's on again. Oh, somebody's got one on over there too. I'm just gonna pitch a bait out because there's, there's fish all over the place right now. That little kid's got one down over there. That's so sick. You need help? Let me know if you need help. He needs help though. Here, take this. I'm gonna give him a hand. You can go throw that bait. Is that a snook or tarpon? Oh my God, look at that, Brant. 
Look at that insane blitz over there. We need bait. <laughs> this is insane. We got God in here. I got X wraps. Yeah, I, I, I got little in, three inch NOVs. Yeah. All right, get three inch NOVs. Right here. Huh? Right here. Drag it up through the middle. We'll figure it out. What is happening? Tarpon? Tarpon? Yeah. Little guy. Frisky with a tarpon. Brad over there has got a snook. Fish are blowing up. We got an NLB in. I don't even know what to do right now, Brant. I got a lure in case they start blowing up again. But right now they're not. But fish are going nuts out here. There's a fish right there. We need bait desperately. Old Frisky Fins hooked up again. The good one too. The snook killer. Insane blitz going on on the other side of the pass over there, right up on the rocks. All right, guys, it looks like there's some bait popping way up here. So we're going to make our way down, see if there's any snook around it. The bite has seemed to slow down a little bit, and it was straight on fire as soon as that tide turned. Unfortunately, I only caught the one tarpon, hooked up on a snook and pulled hook pretty quickly, but it, uh, it got a little wild there for a minute. All right, there's some snook right here, y'all. See if they'll fire up on these baits. It's right next to the swimming zone. So they may, uh, they may be spooked from swimmers. We got a massive storm coming at us. Same thing happened yesterday. Dude, look at those snook right there. There's like six of them. Dude, look at them in the shallows right here. Holy crap. I need a fresh bait. I need a good lively one. There's so many snook out here right now. Look at this freaking storm here, y'all. We, uh, we probably need to be getting going. That feels good. Come back for it. Come back for it. Oh, oh, he just ate. That was so sick. Oh, come back for it. Come back for it. Come back. Dude, he just. All right, thank you. He just came and thumped it off the top. That was so freaking sick. I'm seriously about to have to run from this storm in like just a second. All right, just threw my bait off. We're going to get out of here. This is way too dangerous. Was cutting it close. Whew. Way too close. I was getting blown up on as it was Are moving. You, like by snook? Yes. They're everywhere. Nuh-uh. Everywhere. Did you hang one? No. How? They're bu they're busting the top. There's so many fish right there. Did anybody hang one? No. How? It literally started as the storm was moving. Oh, we're like, we can't man. stay here any longer. Oh my god. Look at all that. Look at all those fish, guys. Look at all those fish. There's so many snook. I just got the three inch NLB in here. If I had some live baits, holy crap. There we go, there we go. This one, this one on the NLB in. Oh, dude. Second cast of the morning. We got a fish on. We've been catching them all on live bait out here. But we don't have any right now. I'm waiting on Brand to get here with his net. We got a good one on the NLB. Oh, he just broke me off. Dang. I didn't even have to drag that tight. I gotta call Brant. He's gotta hurry up. Yeah. How far are you? I'm here. I mean, I'm pulling into the beach park. There right is now. a thousand snook over by that swim area. Okay. I just hooked one on the NLB in and broke off. Is there any bait though? A little bit. Not a ton, but there's a little bit in this little area. Okay, so just, is anybody over there? No, nobody. All right, all right, so let's just do it right, catch some bait. We gotta get you a snow. So yeah. I'm pulling in right now. All right, bro. So you saw? Dude, they're all right here. I thought it was about to eat you. Right, we're gonna get this NLB in a shot again for. Got him, got him. On the NLB in. That's a smaller one. That's all right. Come here, baby.
All right, y'all, check it out. Finally got my first snook of the trip on the three-inch NLBN. There are. Way to make him go down. Oh, oh, come on. Are you on? Are you on? Are you on? Oh, missed him. If you hook him in the belly, they swim down. This is an insane amount of snook, though. Oh. Oh, we got it. We got it. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on. We're doubled up. We're doubled up, right? Ah, oh, I just pulled. That was a good fish. I just pulled hook on him. Can't believe I pulled hook on that one. As many fish as there are fired up here right now, we should definitely be able to get us another one. Oh, oh. I'm on again, I'm on again. Dang, you spit it. What the heck? I wish y'all could see how many fish are in here right now. Look at him, my bait's running for his life. I'm trying to pick out a big one. Oh, 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 did he get it, did he get it? He is all on that bait. Oh. Oh, look at him blowing up out here. That was me, that was me, that was me. Hey. <laughs> he came up and picked it off the top. We may need that landing net for this one. When, when we get here, it's gonna take a second, but. That, that was a good one. My bait was running across the top and he just came up and slurped it. Right there. Come on, baby. Look, look, are we about to double up? Oh. oh. How's he not eating? Oh, he was that? just following it. Oh, I can't God. believe he didn't eat. That was wild. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he, uh, you got him, dude. You got this. Well, he's taking me in the swimming area. I don't want to rub on that rope. Okay, you want to switch places? Or how are you going to do that? Uh, no, he came back okay. out. I'm good. I'm good. When we're fighting these fish along these jetties here, we gotta use super light drag. That way we're not, one, not popping them off because we are a fairly light leader. Um, but also if they get in the rocks and stuff, we don't want to put too much pressure. But this is a big fish. He took me over in the swimming area over here. Now he's about to get me in the other jetties all the way across the way there. I got grass on my line. It's gonna be a miracle if I land this fish. Look, he's taking me all the way. I'm under those buoys. Dude, what the heck? I think it's like a 35 inch or dude. It's a big fish. I'm telling you. It's a real big fish. What in the world? I told you, this fish is massive. You got, he's giving a little bit. Come on, baby. Again, we gotta be super gentle with this thing. I don't even know where he is right now. Like he went all the way under these buoys. He might be in that second swimming area over yeah, there. I think he is. I gotta try to make sure my lines aren't getting on rocks. I was about to pull again. Dang. Yeah, that is this is a massive fish. Wild. When I saw his tail, I knew he was Oh, uh, come on, baby. Be good to me. Nice and easy. I can feel my line rubbing on those buoys out there. It's not good not good at all luckily I am using my bigger setup which has 30 pound braid the setup I was using only had 10 I feel like I'm hung I feel like I'm hung on something nothing's happening nothing Start cranking real hard. See what happens. Trying to see if this fish will swim out of whatever rock he's in. Come on, baby. You can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Nothing. You got him? I don't know. No, pull him, pull him. I think, he, I think he's out. Yeah, he's on there for sure. Where's he at? He's under the buoy, somewhere in there. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. He just came back to life. We still got a fish on, boys. 
If we can tell where he's at, I'll go try and land him. I may need to, uh... I tell you what I don't you know how do, we could Brad. do it. What if you walk go look, look under to those? The left. Look to the left. Why don't you walk across that bridge? Well, I would have to go. I got to go under this buoy first. Uh, okay. He's he's coming back though. Okay. He's coming back. He's coming back. What the heck? Oh oh, what is that? What is that? I'm feeling all kinds of stuff on my line. Yeah, that's that. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on those buoys. Dude. That doesn't feel good. I don't like that. What's it feel like? It feels like I'm rubbing all up on those buoys. Yeah, I mean, I think you are. Luckily the buoys are just like PVC. I don't think there's I don't think there's rope. Oh come on, baby girl. Oh. What a fish. Come on, baby. That's wild. I wonder if they're starting to move up a little a little bit that way. Easy does it, baby. Easy does it. Easy does it. Oh. Yeah. It's a giant fish, dude. It's a giant. So, do you think we could, like, go over there and follow him? Maybe. I mean, my biggest concern, well, I mean, no. I think I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm not under the buoys anymore. Oh God, All right. Brad. Giant snook. It took me all the way in that other swimming area over there. Under both these buoys. That'd be awesome. I think it's a um, 35 foot. Yeah. It's going back under. Got a 30 pound. You may want to put a little bit more pressure on him now. I, I just don't want to. I don't. I don't want to pop off that uh, leader. I do have a circle hook. When I walked up here this morning. Like Brant wasn't even here yet. We didn't have any bait. I just had an LB in. They were literally like hundreds of them. Yeah, I caught two on an NLB in. One for six. All right, we got this girl coming back up. Giant snook slurped my bait off the top. Took me all the way in those swimming areas. Braid rubbing all up on these buoys here. Finally got this fish coming up. We do have a landing net back there. I hope he's as big as I think he is. <laughs> If this isn't a big snook, I'm gonna get a lot of hate. This TV drag. This is called, this is the last day and I've only caught two snook and it was this morning. And I need to land a big one drag. Got it. Got it. Come on, baby. I mean, I could tell when it rolled on my bait, it was a big fish. It ain't gonna be no 20 incher. I mean, I bought my 30 incher left from the Well, we can't all be Brant Peacher. You know what I'm saying is, I think it's bigger than 30 inches. <laughs> I think you gotta have a 35 to 40. That'd be sick. Every time I think she's done, she takes off again. I thought for sure I was done when she ran into that swimming area. I was like, yep, that's it. Look at this, y'all. We got a net and everything. I mean, who would have thought? All right, where do you want? She's trying to land. Uh, she's coming this way. She's down on bottom. Oh, Brant, over here, over here. Where? She's over here. Is it foul hooked? No, Brant. I can't do anything. Here. It's not as big as I thought, but hey, it's still a nice snook. Pull his head up now. Got him, got him, got him. Ah, I'm pulling, pulling, pulling. Hold on. Here. Hey! That's actually a good one. That's dude. probably the first time y'all have ever seen us use a net on the jetties. That's a fat snook, Brad. That's a fat one. That's a good fish, man. Easy, baby. I got you. Don't that's shake. That's a fat snook. Woo! I wish we had something to measure. Oh, definitely over 30 inches. Oh, yeah. Check it out, y'all. Nice snook. Biggest one of the trip for me. Only the third one I've hooked today uh, and of the trip. But I thought she was done. She took me all the way in the swimming area, fought me for a while. Gosh, Great so beautiful. Fish, dude. Heck, yeah. That's a, look how fat these snook are yeah. here on the East Coast. These things are giants. We're going to go ahead and get her back after a long fight. <sighs> all right, baby. Is 
Whew. Thank you. All right, Brant said he sees a ton of snook. We gotta run over here to the other side. See if we can get hooked up on some more. I think we're getting low on baits too. We're gonna have to go cast nets some more baits here soon. That is, there was like 50 of them right there, Brad. All right, Let's I'm go. gonna get one. Go catch one, go get one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's definitely snook still here. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Real, real, you got him. There you yeah. go, you're all, there you go. That's a good one. That's a decent fish there. Come on, baby. This one's trying to run back out. <laughs> We're kind of in the, the swimming area now. Nobody's here right now, though. This is a feisty little dude. Dang. Oh, Brad, you got another big one? Dang. That one had a bunch of head shakes. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. We might have to throw that net again. Come on, baby. This one has ran all the way back out around these rocks. I don't know. Yep. As soon as my braid hit that rock, it was game over. All right, guys, we got the live croaker here. There's a big pot of the snook right down there. I'm gonna try to see if I can pitch it over close to him. These fish are so frustrating though. Cause seriously, we can see them. there's probably like 20 of them sitting on bottom. It is just difficult to get them to eat. Very, very frustrating fish. It has been a pretty slow morning out here on the pier. We hung out out at the end and there's a bunch of snook everywhere. Beach bum dropped the camera down, saw snook all up under the pier. Make sure you go check out his channel to see that video. But James and I decided to move down kind of a little closer to the beach here. And uh, we're gonna drop some baits up under here, see if maybe some snook are fired up. A little closer to the beach. The water's a little bit more dingy, so maybe we can get away with getting the bites. It's like crystal clear out there. Uh, so that might be the reason why these fish are not eating, but snook are a very frustrating fish to target. Like you see like literally hundreds of them right in front of you and they just won't eat. Very frustrating, especially when you spend like $1,000 for some live croaker, which is not fun. But uh, we're going to hang out here for a little bit, see if we can get some bites. And then uh, I'm starting to get hungry, so I don't know how long this will last, but see if we can find some fish. Yes. Got him. No, I can flip this one. Little bitty fella. Sorry, buddy. First one of the day, so I'll take it. All right, first snook of the day. He's a little bitty fell, but we will take it. Hopefully we can find us some big one on these croakers. We'll send him on his way. All right. <laughs> Croaker. Yes, sir. I think I had too much slack out. Like, you wouldn't take any extra line. But the line just kept going over that way. And I was like, I think there's a fish there. <laughs> we'll grab another one. That thing was fairly small for eating that croaker. All right. Let's see if we can find us one a little bit bigger. Well, they gotta keep going behind the other piling. Get over here. I oh, just got me on the piling. Get out. Get out. Ah, there we go. All right. Number two in the same spot. I thought for sure he was gonna cut me on the piling. All right, buddy. Number two, going back. Whew. There are some feisty little things. Hey, one piling over. You ought to scoot over there. It's croaker or money. Them thousand dollars in bait. All right, got another live croaker hooked up here drawing back down under the pier trying to find a big girl there's plenty of them out on the end they are just not chewing Let's see if we can get one this time all right we've been here four days we spent like almost a thousand dollars in croakers we got two hours left and a few more fish a few more baits that's the end of the trip I'm exhausted. I'm ready for some AC. We've been on the pier or the beach 
like four days straight from like 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. <laughs> yeah. 14 hour days. <sighs> Get him. Oh, he's, he already took me. Get wrapped, him. He wrapped me. Get he him. Me. You got it. No. He, oh. He, he got me around the piling and then he let go. Well, you blew that one. Yes, I did. All right, guys, we got an hour and a half left and a handful of croakers left. Got to get one more big snook before we finish up here in Juneau. So that's the plan. We're back down in the shallows. Sean just had a nice one on, got him around the piling and uh, pulled hook. But uh, see if we can get one more fish before we head back home. We're going to get us another croaker hooked up here. Go ahead and drop it back down. This pier closes at 8 o'clock, which is weird. I'm used to our piers, which Gulf Shores Pier is 24-7, so... But this one closed at eight o'clock. Got another bait out. We, we got four rods out right now. So we got one here, one there, one there, one there. We're trying to hit all these different bays in between these pylons. James is, what are you doing, James? Mangrove snapper. Mangrove snapper. If you catch a nice one, we're gonna do a little catch and cook tonight. We or we're gonna drop down for a big snook, one of the two. Probably the latter. Probably big snook. Big fish. Oh. Oh, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. Woo! About got me in the pot. No. Nice. <laughs> he yanked the freaking rod over on the ground. Oh, Swing and a miss. Gotta watch out for Mr. Lawless side. <laughs> there he is. Nice. Woo. Snooky number three. That is that's cute. It's like a snook, just smaller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how many have you caught this week, Sean? How many? Huh? Hey, come on. I can have a little. That's slot size right there. That's a good eater if it was seasoned. Heck yeah. Good job. <sighs> I was joking. Thanks for not, netting it, homie. That's not a little snook. Little snook is the first snook I ever caught. All right, guys, third snook of the day for me. Not a giant by any means, but that is a good slot size right there. If they were in season, this would be a good eater. We may have to come back later this fall when season is open, because I've heard snook is delicious. But uh, we're going to get this guy back, get another croaker out. We only got about an hour left of fishing. Let's see if we can get us another one. Let's go. Oh! Dang! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Did he get it? Hang on. Go that way. Go that way. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Go the other way. Hey, Brad, climb down. Yeah, that is a freaking tank. Is that his tail right there? He's straight up and down. Yeah. Oh, no, you're just going to piss him off if you do it. See him? Yeah, he's right there. Yeah, it, that's an absolute set. That's 40 inches. He's going in. He's going in. Where's he at? Right here. Right here. Right, right, here, right, right here, here. You can turn him. You can turn him. His, his head's coming your way. He's coming my way? His head's your yeah, way. Yeah, you can turn him your way. Actually. Yep. That's a tank. Holy. No, he's going to you perfectly. Yep. He's coming. Just be easy with him. Yeah, just slow. He just must be stuck in some of those barnacles. You got a nap. Don't go to the front. No! No! Oh! He's coming back! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Excuse me, buddy. Oh, he's still wrapped. No! No! Dang! Oh, that thing was huge. Dude. First thing he did was just wrap around that. Yeah, that's like the worst thing possible. How's it feel to lose the biggest fish of the trip? Like this. You look defeated. Yeah, that sucks. That was a big one. That was that would have been bigger than mine. <laughs> we just made it down here to Jupiter, Florida. We got beach bum. We got the lawless tide. We got a message yesterday afternoon from Victor over at Land Shark Outdoors. And he, uh, he said the mullet run's happening, and he caught some tarpon. 
So nine o'clock last night, I called these guys. I was like, "Hey, uh, y'all want to make a last minute trip to South Florida?" I was having. Tea. He, <laughs> I was in the tub. Beach <laughs> bum was drinking a glass of wine in the bathtub and was like. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. It's fact. It was like, I'll have to call you back. I was like, all right. Well, <laughs> this, is, this is a great intro. <laughs> so while waiting on him. It's so funny because it's true. It's not, it's not even a lie. You didn't make that up. While, while waiting on Beach to get back with me from his bubble bath, I went ahead and reached out the shot. I know he would be down. Oh, God. But... All this planned last minute, last night. We left at 8.30 this morning. We were supposed to leave at 8, but this is, this is tough time. Made him sleep in a little bit this morning. But we ended up driving like nine hours this morning. Just got down here to the house. Found us the last minute Airbnb. We're going to go meet up with Victor and Ryan Morey tomorrow morning. Hit the beach hard. Try to find these mullets. I think you got to like run down the beach, hit every access, see if the mullet are there, go fish it. So it's going to be a lot of work, a lot of moving around but planning to get on some big fish tomorrow. So uh, we're gonna get some dinner, get settled in, probably do a podcast. I haven't announced on the channel yet, but me and Beach Bum have started a podcast. It is Fishing Not Catching. I'm gonna have it linked down below. So y'all go check it out. We're gonna film one tonight. Gonna have Sean Wallace on there, but uh, I'll catch you on the morning when we get out to the beach. Hey man, <laughs> they, uh, your room's in here. <laughs> <laughs> They have the pack and play ready for you. All right, we have made it. We're out here on the beach this morning. Beautiful morning out in Jupiter, Florida. First thing we got to do is spot these mullet on the beach. We're just going to kind of stand up here on the hill, see if we can see anything. We got a snatch rig rigged up here. So we got to snatch some mullet and then rig up for a live bait. See if we can find these tarpon, jacks, snook anything out here on the beach first we gotta find some bait all right guys see the first sign of life here gonna toss a snatch hook out see if we can grab us a mullet here i've never done this before so uh we'll see how good we are at snatching mullet i don't know if this is the best way to do it but i'm trying to just reel in slowly see if i feel anything and then snatch from there there's definitely fish there all right we just saw some tarpon blowing up a little further down the beach the problem is after a long walk back to the car we really have no idea how far down the beach they are so we're gonna drive a little bit we may have to stop a couple times get out see if we can see where they're at they're blowing That's, up dude yeah they were they're that was, that was pretty sick yeah it's definitely a workout doing this I'm like, <laughs> like we just got started we're like in and out all around it's uh it's not even eight o'clock yet we started at seven so yeah. less than an hour yeah. and we're breaking a sweat it. we're gonna go see if we can get on these fish though sean back there is about to die he's he's like old as dirt though so <laughs> hopefully he's still here at the end of this video but uh we'll catch y'all when we find these tarpon Cheese. Limbo. Oh, uh. Yeah, I do too. Oh, dogs. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> My pants are falling down. <laughs> All right, that's going off. Oh my god. That is so sick. Oh my god. Somebody's got a bait out here, so watch that line. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> this is insanity, Matthew. First things first, snatch a mullet. Alright. I'm throwing the snatch hook in. Oh! There we go. There we go. I got a bait. I got a bait. Yep. Stay on the hook, baby. All these tarpon are going nuts out here. I feel like a NASCAR pit stop right here. Really? Quick change, quick change. This is when having two rods would be nice, but there's so much moving around, it's tough to take two rods out here on the beach. I hooked my mullet right in the gill, so I think he's dead, but I don't know if that's gonna matter. All right, we got the mullet. I got 80 pound fluorocarbon, seven knot circle hook. We're gonna go down here to the craziness. See if we can grab us a tarpon, baby. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, 
Looks like most of these people are throwing artificial. So uh, maybe we'll be in good shape having mullet. There we go. There we go. Fish on. What we got? What we got? I got something. He's not jumping though. What do we got? Snooky! First fish is a snook. Oh, he's running now at the beach. Yeah, baby! On the first mullet. Oh! Come on, Wade, help me out. Thanks, brother. First mullet here in Jupiter, Florida. Smashed a nice overslot snook. Looking for the tarpon. They're blowing up everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy back, see if we can get us another mullet. Dude. Oh, that's ridiculous. So sick. You're the luckiest guy. <laughs> Like how the hell you can like immediately catch bait, immediately catch a snook. There are fish blowing up. Yeah, just caught an overslot snook. Nice. Okay. There's there's tarpon blowing up, and most of the guys here are throwing artificial, but. Well, congrats. Yeah, Thanks. appreciate it. All right. All right. See you in a minute. In a second. Bye. All right. Well, now we got to tie the snatch hook back on. We got to snatch another mullet. This is the tricky part about what we're doing here, with only one rod. Pretty freaking awesome to land that snook though. On a dead mullet. I snatched that mullet right in the freaking throat. There we go. There we go. Stay on, baby. Nice and easy. All right, I'm gonna rig this up and we're gonna get back out there. Rig back up with another mullet. This tarpon have moved on down the beach. Definitely getting our exercise today, Sean. Yep. I am soaking wet from sweat right now. All right. Come on, tarpon. It is like a thousand degrees out here right now. There are so many tarpon rolling out here. Just eat my bait. The guy next to me just broke off on a tarpon. Victor just landed a nice snook. It is definitely going off out here. It is hot as crap though. I need some water. He didn't tell me to train for a triathlon before we came down here. Look at this little boy jacking one up. <laughs> that is awesome. Good stuff. Got him a nice snook. Beach bum's hooked up. Looks like he's got a snook. It's a fatty too. Yeah. Nice work, beach bum. Oh, yeah, we got a snook. I think we're getting eight. I think we're getting eight. Maybe not, maybe not. I think there's just so many mullets swimming through my line. Uh, somebody cast it over me. All right, beach bum. So we both got a snook. My, mine was bigger than yours, of course. But <laughs> well, mine probably looked bigger. When you were holding it just because you're so much smaller? Smaller, smaller guy. That's true, that's true. That's the good thing about being small. But it's good that both of us have the monkey off our back. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. Now, we keep seeing these tarpon blowing up in this huge school of mullet. Yeah. I tarpon. really want a freaking tarpon. Are you tarpon fit? Oh, good day. Are you talking fishing or are you got a free line? No, I got a weight on there. On yeah, I'm on bottom now. Now, on the first snook, I wasn't on bottom though. No, I, I didn't have a weight. But a couple of the guys out here said that some of these tarpon will get lazy sometimes. I want to just bottom. eat off bottom. So maybe being on bottom will help. Your snook was on bottom, Victor's yeah. was on bottom. Yeah. So. I mean, I definitely don't mind snook. No, 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 not at all. I'll never complain about catching snook from the beach. I keep. Thinking I'm feeling a bite, but there's so many mullet, I think they're just running into the line. Uh, yeah. There he is. There we go. Fish on. That's the right fish, baby. That's the right one. Let's go. Oh, where you at? Where you at? No, he's just swimming right at the beach. Or did he get off? What happened? He's swimming all the way in. What the heck? That was so crazy. He took off and then swam right at the beach. Another nice snook. The way he took off when he hit it, I thought for sure it was a tarpon. And then he turned around and swam right to the beach. Yeah. 
Number two, baby. The baby suit. Something like that. Oh, Whew. He's angry. They do not like coming up on the beach. Holy oh. cow. Yeah, buddy. That's a tank, son. Oh Ooh. my god. That is a tank. Brooks on. Oh my god, Brad. That's a big one, dude. Woo, buddy. Check that out. That, that is one fat snook right that's there. Sick, dude. Roll, roller top with me a little bit. Girl goes Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. That's about as big as they come. Yeah, man. About as big Ooh. as they come. The way she hit it, I thought it was a tarpon. Then Dude, she it turned around off. and went right at the beach. Yeah. I was like, what the heck? His tarpon are going nuts right now. I'll reel back in, see if I can cast a little bit further. Oh, I got a bunch of grass on me. Definitely don't want that mess. Well, they end up going under the pier or out and around? It always differs. Sometimes they go under the pier. Sometimes they sit right here for hours and hours. Sometimes they'll go back up north. Like yesterday, all the moments we found were going north. None of them were going south. It was strange. Like we found a pod bigger than this yesterday about where we started, but they ended up at the inlet instead. Jeez. Well, that'd be nice if they stop and just stay here. <laughs> All right, guys. Just made it back in the car. That was a that was a pretty intense morning there. Man, we got some exercise. Yeah, I, uh, I know why they call it the mullet run. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> there is a lot of them. I think I think we're roughly what two miles. Yeah, it's probably what it. we walked down the beach, yeah. um, in the sand, running in, in the heat. Run, yeah, it was that, that was a little brutal. I, Sean Sean hasn't died on us yet though. He's close. <laughs> <laughs> if I get but, an um, IV and some oxygen, I'm good. Right. Once we once the mullet ended up hitting the pier, they pushed out a little bit, and so we're back in the car. We're gonna ride around, hit a couple beach accesses, see if we can find some more big pods of mullet, tarpon, snook, and uh, really want to get the tarpon now. We got two nice snook. That second one, we didn't measure it, but pretty certain that was probably the new PB. Ryan's was guessing 43 inches. My PB was 40. Um, so I'm pretty pumped about that. So we just got a call from Ryan that they're back on the snook and the tarpon. And we're only like five miles away, but we got an issue. South Florida has draw bridges for this one freaking boat. We got places to be. <laughs> yeah, I hope we're trying to go there. catch some tarpon, and they're over here raising up the draw bridge, and we're just sitting here waiting. All right, we're back at another beach now, trying to snatch some more mullet here. See if we can find something. I finally snatched a mullet here, <coughs> jumping out of my hands. Get back here. Got us a live mullet going back out. So we can find here. They're like blowing up on them right here next to the beach. There you go. Oh! They just hooked the tarpon. Oh, here they are, right here by the beach. So if they'll grab mine. Come on, baby. You got it? There he is. Uh, yep. Unless I got you too. No. Somebody's got something. You're on. Bang. I definitely got thumped. All three of us were together. Check that out. He got scaled a little bit there. Sean had us all wrapped up. Sean was the one that actually had the fish on. Good for him. That's Sean's first one of the day. Good job, Sean. We got a slot? We got a slot. Nice. Where are we keeping them? I don't know. I think they got a cool one. Okay. They're coming through thick right here now. Victor just got hooked up. Let's see if we can get us one here. Come on. Victor with a good one over there. That was a big fish, Matt. Yeah, that was sick. Matt just got ate and he jumped and spit the hook. There we go, there we go, come on. Take it, baby. Yeah, he hit it. There he is, there he is. 
Oh, did it get off? Dang. He had it. Definitely had it in his mouth. Beach bomb. Dang it. Victor just got smoked by a big tarpon. Whoa. They still got him on here. That is a stud. There he is. Got him. There you go. Oh. That's a good one, too. That's a. Oh. Dang. Just broke me off. Crap. That was a nice snook too. We made it to Juno Beach, Florida. First time I've ever fished the ocean, other than I did go fish offshore once. I've never fished land-based or from a pier in the ocean, so that's what we're gonna do. Always been over on the Gulf of Mexico, but we got the lawless tide here. Y'all go check out his channel link down below. We, uh, we made the drive from Orlando this morning. We've been at ICAST the last couple days, saw a lot of cool stuff gonna head on out to the pier Bama Beach Bum is out there Ryan Mori is on his way if you haven't checked out Ryan Mori channel I'm gonna have it linked down below as well but there's supposed to be some giant snook here so that's like my whole goal of this trip is to get on some big snook but they also get tarpon they get bonita and I don't really know what else we're just gonna kind of figure that out when we get out there but we're loaded down with a little bit of everything so we're gonna head on out to the pier see if we can get on some fish let's go all right guys just made it out on the pier Look how clean this water is. We are not used to this in Alabama. Super blue. There's a little bit of grass, like some sargasm, but it's like super clear water. Hopefully they got some snook going on. Beach bone's already out here, so we'll get down and see how he's doing. I'm not sure what's going on, but we got lifeguards and people jumping in off the pier. They might be doing some training out here. But there are snook hammer. Like that's all snook. That's all snook. That's all snook. Tough, tough to see. You probably definitely can't see in the camera, but snook all over. But they won't eat. There's a big one right there. But we need bigger baits. Like the baits that you can get out here, like are tiny pilchards or tiny like. We need the big croakers. Look, look at them. That's crazy. Jumping off the pier there. There's literally snook everywhere, but you gotta have some live baits. We're waiting on James. He's gonna bring us some big croakers. Heck yeah, dude. Got one coming up. That's, that's what I want. I gotta get the fishing. I know. Well, it's enough gotta, staying around. Oh, somebody's running. Oh, they're running, dude. All the way That's awesome, man. All right, we gotta have live bait for these snook. They were using some blue runners or hardtails. I don't know if they were catching them here, but I'm just gonna throw out a little jig. See if I can find something to toss out for a live bait. There's seriously snook everywhere though. This is pretty wild. There's something. There we go. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. That is no. <laughs> oh, I know he came off right when I got him out of the water. He came off the hook. So pretty here. There we go. Stay on this time, buddy. Oh, there's another one after. No, nice. Are they using baits like this big? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I haven't seen them. All right. Big, big baits for big fish. I love all your stuff online. I appreciate it, man. I really appreciate it. What's your name, man? Grant. Grant, good yeah, to meet you. I actually use your code for the last Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. Nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, that's great. Is this too big for yeah, snook here? Well, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, hey, man, big one will eat it. All right, all right, we'll try it. It's been a slow day, though. Okay, yeah, no, we'll no. give it a shot. I've, I've only caught one snook and it was tiny, so. All right, guys, we are ready. They said they saw a tarpon, too. Is he still out there? No. Oh, he's not the way. Big lav bait for big snook. See what, see what happens. Just see what happens. It's worth a shot. Supposed to swim down, buddy. Down. Swimming the wrong way. Yep, yep, go for it. Don't turn around. Oh, 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 oh. I can't see him anymore. There was a snook after him. Yeah, what is that? Is that a tarpon? 
Yeah, there could be. There's no small enough. Right there? Down. See? Down the yeah. ride with every 12 month subscription to mystery tackle box so make sure you head on over to the first link down in the description pick up a 12 month subscription to mystery tackle box and get that free rod i've personally been using mystery tackle box for a little over a year now and it's pretty dang cool because i'm super busy If you live inland and do a lot of bass fishing or anything like that, they have any box that's gonna fit your needs. So make sure you head on over to Mr. Tackle Box, first link in the description. Let's get back to fishing. Come back for it, homie. He got it, he's back on it. Get him. He's back on it. Get him bread, get him bread. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. I assume you got like mono on there? Yeah. Put it on it. Got him. <laughs> oh yeah. We drove all the way down to Juno for this, baby. Can you, uh, land sharks? Uh, I have no idea what the rules are with sharks here. Yeah, yeah. I was a blue runner, right? Yeah. What do you got on the for the leader? 80 pound mono. It's gonna hold for a while. What's the rules with catching sharks on this pier? Are you from down here? No. Okay, never mind. What? I mean, I'm from what's Miami. the uh, What's the rules? Oh, the rules. On? You cannot. You cannot bring it. You can or cannot. You cannot. No. Okay. You can fight it. And yeah, that's the same where we're from. Pop it off. Yeah, lay it up and pop it off, I guess. Yeah, he's up on the surface now. First fish in June. Well, not the first one. My first one is a hardtail. <laughs> and my second one's a shark. I could have done this at Gulf Shores this morning. Uh oh, uh oh. He's got the real deal over there. I wish that tarpon would have ate it. Tarpon definitely would have jumped by now, though. He ran forever. Surprised he hasn't broken me off. That 80 just helps, I reckon. I mean, if it, if it, if it was... If it would have run a little bit more. Yeah, if it was the tarpon, it would have jumped. You'd think. Uh, yeah, I would I think. I don't know, man. They, they do weird there's, stuff. Yeah, there's some of them that they, they use run. Man, I'm, I'm not going to treat it like it's a shark until I confirm. 100, 100%. It could be a big tarpon. That would be cool. That would be freaking awesome. We'll go beach this thing. That would be crazy if it was on a blue runner. Tarpon? Yeah. Yeah. I'm like 95% sure it's a shark. It's a very lazy shark now. Tarpon would have went again. Yeah, he, he had some spunk there. Yeah. The beginning, you know, he, was, he, he was hauling. If we can get this up here, I'll claim biggest fish of the trip so far. <laughs> well, I think you'll have the biggest, biggest fish, period. If you have. All right, there he is. He's definitely just cruising now. Come on, baby. I'd be fine with that too. Yeah, a big cooter would be smart. I'd rather be a barracuda than a yeah. shark. Is it a nurse? I don't know. It's kind of brown. If it is, I've never caught one of those. I just don't think a nurse would be brown. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. Finally got it. That was definitely a shark. Well, I got my weight back. Oh, that's All right. First fish of the trip is a shark. Broke a sweat for that. <laughs> Come on. I, I broke a sweat standing here. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I intensified the sweat. Grab your rod. Oh Permit. Yeah. I don't know where they went now. How big? Like. Uh, Probably about like that. Oh, uh, so not huge. But oh, they are right there. I don't, I don't see them. Are, are they up top? Yeah, right there. Oh, I see them. Oh, dude, those are big. Oh, sorry, man. I mean, oh, no, you're good. I don't know if they're going to eat this. That is sick. That was cool. First time I've seen a permit. <laughs> will they eat any kind of jigs or anything? Or just crab? They will only eat a lot of crab from Yeah. It it's, like, it's like a 20 pounder. That's what I want. If that. A little fun size. Look how cool it is. Flip them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are you going to do? Just... Well, I don't know how you pop that one off. He's not big enough. Whoa. Need a hand on that? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh, Sweet. 
What do you eat? Pelcher. Nice. Frozen. Frozen. That's cool, man. Nice tarpon. Wow. That's sucky. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice work, dude. <laughs> oh, you got a cuda? Oh, you got nice. A, you got a net. Uh, y'all got a net? You got a net? Net, net? Ryan doing work on the snook. Oh, no, no, no. Dang. Man. Hook pulled out. Oh, dang. dang it. That was a nice one, man. Yeah, <sighs> I like, didn't even know it was there. You were very quiet over yeah. here, and I saw you like positioning. I'm like, and that was on the croaker? Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're going big now. Ryan Mori brought us some croaker. Apparently, these snook love these croaker. That's what he was just hooked up with. So I'm going to try to hook one up in the lips here. Just like so. We're going to drop them on bottom, see if we can get hooked up on one of these big snook. It's so frustrating being out here and seeing these snook everywhere and them just not eating. Like at Gulf Shores Pier, we do a lot of staying around waiting on big fish. You got a snook? Or you got a... Uh, I got a croaker, okay. yeah. But here, like, we've been staring at these snook all day and just... They won't eat. Let's we'll see if we can get one hooked up now. See if the croaker's the trick. So I guess tomorrow, if we go to the jetties first and then come here, we can start out at the end and try to catch some croakers. And then come down here with live croaker later in the day. All right, guys, we've moved down the pier a little bit. We're not all the way out at the end anymore. What these snook do is so in the mornings, they'll go offshore and kind of mull around out there. And then at night, they will come back in and they'll hang out around the beaches all night. And they do that every day. So it's about 6.30 p.m. now. So we're kind of moving down. These snooks should be coming down the pier to head on to the beach for the evening. So got some baits out. We got old James Pemberton, Mr. Frisky Fins himself is with us now he built us some rods that we're going to be using over the weekend so uh i'll show you more of that later when we start using them tomorrow but i just got to catch a fish any fish any fish all right guys well, we tried to buy some croaker today but the tackle store was sold out so we were stuck with having to catch bait we did buy some live shrimp today so we are gonna try some live shrimp see what we can catch on that but right now i just got a sabiki rig I'm gonna see if we can catch something Throw them in here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, first bait going down. Yeah, we'll take that. Don't eat all our shrimp, buddy. Matt? Yeah. I hate having to catch live bait. I know, man. This is, this is tough. It's, it's definitely a different thing, man. Live bait's so important here. In our area, we just get there and fish. Yeah. In this area, you got to spend like two hours to try to get bait. <laughs> we even tried the lazy one. I know. Freaking sold out. All right, guys, we haven't caught a ton of bait, but I got one little perch here that I got free line. We're gonna drop here in the shallows. Been a couple snook here. See if we can find one. There he is. There he is. first snook of the day is a little bitty fella that's all right hey, I, I am. feisty little fella on the live bait i know everybody usually drops them back in a net with the little ones y'all just throw them back or grab by a tail like this and just let them slide down all right cool all right guys we're gonna send the little fella back good luck buddy yeah. appreciate it <laughs> all right let's grab another bait see if we can do it again there's been a couple bigger ones that's what I would like to get. Little snook need loving too. We're just hooking these little guys right up through the lips. Drop them down between the pylons. Swim, buddy, swim. Swim, there he goes. This grass is a pain. Like, look how big of a wad that is. There's so much wind blowing my line back that that fish is almost too small. He's just getting drugged by the wind and the line. I just want to see one come up and just... Whoosh. All right, I'm going to put a little split shot on here. Help get this dude down a little bit better. Got the split shot. 
says that'll make it a little easier for them to swim down. It's crazy these snooks still hang out here right by the beach with all these people swimming in the water and stuff. They don't really seem bothered by it. There he is. Ah! Dang. Just pulled hook on him. That was a good bite too. Get another live bait here. We don't have a whole lot, so we're probably gonna have to go back to trying to catch some more after we catch some snook. We still gotta get beach bum a stool. Somebody send us one. Somebody just send it to the clickbaiters P.O. box. At least this pair has railing that you can stand on. Some of the other ones are a little more difficult. So wild that they don't care about all these people. Like redfish would be out of here. <laughs> there's one, there's one, there's one. Hey, watch out buddy, watch out buddy! Ah! Damn! That was a good fish. Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, it snook. It's snook. Yeah. I about just took a dude's head off with my line. Well, he, like, he should be right there. <laughs> like, yeah, like there's clearly a sign. Well, they're here. We got any more baits? A few. Ow! Ow! That hurt oh, you. Oh, dang. Get in there? Yep. You alright? It's a beaky. All the way in. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's small. You get it? Yeah. That's one way to do it. Rip it right out of there. All right, guys, re-rigged here. Hook up another bait. See if we can do that again. There's some guys swimming, like, right next to the pier, which they're not supposed to be swimming right there. And my line about took the dude's head off. Drop her down. I only got 40-pound leader right now. A couple of these other guys said they're using 60, so if I get broke off again, probably going to have to tie on a heavier leader. We were using heavier yesterday down at the end of the pier, catching, like, the that 37 I got. But I've thought maybe this smaller snook here at the at the beach we wouldn't need that but we'll see what happens here oh 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 there he is there he is yeah there he goes that's all right yeah he like went i know <laughs> I'm gonna try to catch a snapper. So we finally ended up getting some live bait. I got a big live bait down here and he is swimming around like crazy. This place is so frustrating because there's literally snook all over the bottom right here. They just don't eat until they finally decide they want something. So big live bait swimming around. Hopefully they're about to whack it. Something's making them freak out. I'm on, I'm on. Oh boy. Come on, get over this way. Oh boy, you got your get a net, get a net, get a net. Oh, come here. The good one. Yep. You got it. Nice. Get your head up. Got him now. Get in there. Nice. Thanks, bro. That's illegal. He's on the end. Yeah. I just double checked with him. You can use snapper. It is a keeper snapper, yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Um, do you have anything to measure with? Any of y'all got a tape or anything? Yeah, I might have one. Or a board or something? Nice, fatty. You probably put them on the board. Yeah. You want some dinner? <laughs> 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 Two and one. Thanks, brother. Oh, what we got? What we got? Forty. 
Grease the tail, wait. Forwarding. He's forwarding without doing that. <laughs> All right, check it out, guys. Nice 40 inch snook out here on Juno Pier. Heck yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know it, man. Thank you. Oh, Round of applause. Thanks, kids. All right. There he goes. He's gone. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. That's what we came here for. Oh, yeah, he's 40 right at it. You need to drop that right down. Drop that back down. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, James doesn't even have a clue. Guys, we're going to use some little pieces of shrimp here. Try to catch some bait. Trying to find the right bait for these snook today. This is James Rod. It's real on the right side. Finally got a little bait fish here. Not exactly what we're after. What are these again? I think they're samples, is what they call them. All right, guys, we're gonna hook up this little hardtail here. See if these snookle like them. We got the uh, setups that James brought. He made some custom frisky fins rod. We got the Avit on here, a little conventional reel. I'm going to try to toss this guy up under the pier here. Not very good when it comes to conventional. <laughs> we need to break 40 today. Well, first we need to catch a snook. Yeah. I got to catch a snook. <laughs> then we need to break 40. There's still a ton of grass out here, which is kind of a pain. The water is much more clear than yesterday afternoon. James and Sean showed up with some croakers, which is supposed to be the best snook bait out there. Y'all make sure to go check out Frisky Fins and Lawless Tide for hooking us up. There's a bunch of snook on bottom right here. Hopefully these croakers will get them fired up. Nope, that's grass. Gotta make sure. <laughs> if it is a fish and you don't set the hook, you're f Yeah. <laughs> is it moving? Yeah. Fooled again by the grass. Big jack. Big jack, bro. Huge jack. Big time. Golly, that's a tank. Got him. Nice. <laughs> that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big jack. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. <laughs> you did? <laughs> you did? Oh, that's yeah, a big one. Right. A little different than Gulf Shores. Yeah. Hey, you're tight over there. That was a bite. Oh, no, yeah, 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 there you go. Go, go. Get him brag, get him brag, get him brag. Uh, no. Uh, no, he's still there. Uh, nope. Are you hung up? I'm hung. Hey, try still feel him? Wait, wait, wait. Just be easy on him. Is he still there? I felt something for a second, I don't feel anything now. Dang. Swim out. Have to break this thing off, I guess. It's got a lot of stretch. Yeah. I need my fish monkey gloves. Oh, there you go. Well, we definitely had a big snook on. He got there must be some structure or something up under this pier. He got me in something, but we're re-rigged now. Got another croaker. That was the one. The one that I needed. I'm gonna toss them up under the pier here. Right where I got wrecked last time. Let's see if we can find another one. Yep. Get him out of here. No! Did it pull or break it off? It pulled. 
hook. No, I pulled. Dang it. Got him out and pulled the hook. I'm 0 for 2. All right, third time's a charm, right? Got another croaker out here. Can't screw this up again. Did you ever see him? No. It felt big though. Yeah. It definitely was the PB. Sure. Wouldn't take much. No. Pretty much all I gotta do is catch a snook here and it'll be a PB. Get him, James. Get him out. Get him out. All up on that piling. Huh? Nope. Oh, he got out, he got out, he got out. Oh! That's a tank. Heck yeah. At least somebody around here knows how to land a fish. <laughs> On the Frisky Fins custom rod. What's up, man? Oh, that's a big one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not off. Off, yeah. You can turn it on. God. Come on. I just touched the line and felt them hit it. That was crazy. Ugh. Come on. Oh, we got a net. Oh. Woo. Come on. Get his head out. Easy, buddy. Oh. It's a feisty dude. Oh. 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 No. No, no. Sweet baby Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, James. Uh, we got it. Yes. Uh, finally. Heck yes. So freaking cool. Appreciate it, brother. Oh, that's 41. No, oh, not even, dude. It's just so 37. Flat. I just died. Dude, 30, 37. All right, guys, finally made it happen on the big South Florida snook. Uh, had two big hits earlier, pulled hook on one and got hung up with the other. Nice 37 inch snook, though, by far my PB. We go ahead and get this big girl back. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we're going to drop down another croaker here, see if we can do it again. These things can freaking fight. <sighs> Under the pier. James on with another one. Oh, piling. Oh, piling. Don't let her dog you now. Da -da, da -da. There's a shark right here coming at this snook. Yep. So number four of the day. Second one on the pier today. James is from here though, so he's got an unfair advantage. That's like his eighth snook. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Hey, mine was bigger, James. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That guy was fucking running. <laughs> I got him. Did you get a little baby, Sean? Got a little baby. Got him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Look at that little baby, Sean. <laughs> Woo! Oh, okay. Heck yeah, man. Nice. You did it. Hey, Brad, I got one for you. Here you go. What happened? I was going to give you the rod. You got big fish? Yeah. You it's fight all, big fish. It's all yours. You catch big fish. I caught it. He's here. Oh, Lay him up. Flip him. Oh, shit. Whoop him. You gotta flip him. John got his dinner. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, it's a shark. <laughs> and of course, it's not one that'll bite through the line. <laughs> yeah. It'll pop, pop him off. All right, I'm done. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. It's what we call a grande tiburon. <laughs> Alright y'all, we just made it out here to the beach. I'll show you all the rig we got here. So I got 80 pound fluorocarbon 
on a little knocker rig. Got the circle hook. And then we're chasing these schools of mullet. So we rigged up a snatch hook with just a loop here on the end. And so what we do is loop onto our circle hook. Yeah, so now we got our snatch hook on our circle hook. So we try to snatch a mullet when they're coming through. Then we can take this off, hook the mullet on the circle hook, sling it back out there. Because a lot of times trying to, trying to carry two rods out here can become a pain. All right, there's some fish blowing up down here. I'll make our way down this way. Well, you can see all the ripples from the bait right there. Oh. See it? They blew up when I, when I stopped Someone you. came through. Yeah. It looked like those guys just had swim bait, so hopefully if we can get a mullet, have a good shot at it. All right, here's some mullet right here. Trying to snag a mullet here. The mullet are a little smaller, so they might be trying to, they might be difficult to grab. They're like little finger mullet right on the surface. I'm just gonna try to reel this in quick across the top, see if I can snatch one. I need a lot of bait, bad. All right, y'all, we saw a big wad of bait up here, seeing some fish blowing up in it. I don't see anybody fishing. Oh, there's one guy. One guy with a rod, seeing some tarpon jumping. Still got to snag us a mullet though. Can't do much without a bait. There's like dogs all over this beach. One was trying to eat my hook earlier. Throwing frisbees in the middle of the bait balls. All right, see if we can, oh, these mullet are bigger. I hit one. These mullet are definitely bigger. If we can get a bait, we should be good to go here, y'all. Oh, got one. Finally. All right, so now I just gotta get this off our circle hook. All right, got a mullet. Hook him up through the lips. These big snook like the feet on bottom. That's why we got the weight on here. Oh, they're blowing up further down. Might need to go this way. All right, first mullet deployed. Feels good to finally have a bait. Yeah, I got it. I got some now. I know it. Oh, oh, I'm getting eight. I'm getting eight. What? There he is. There he is. Fish on. Red on. First fish of the trip here. Big snook on the live mullet down here in Juno Beach. Woo! Big old snook. Hell yeah. This is what we came here for. This is so sick coming down here and giant wads of mullet. Finally was able to snatch one. Live bait is definitely the go-to down here. Would you be so kind to hold mother camera while you're waiting? If you get hooked up, you can just throw it back, but. All right, that looks like a nice one too, y'all. Snook is in season, so if we get a slot, we can do a little catch and cook. Come on, baby. Heck yeah. Woo! All right, y'all, check it out. First snook of the trip. We've only been out here a couple hours. Drove to a few different beaches to find them. Finally found the mullet. Got on these giant snook. That's exactly what we came here for. Let's get this big girl release. Get some more bait. Try to do it again. All right. Woo! There's some big waves out here. Come on, big girl. All right. Nice. First fish of the day. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Yeah. All right, y'all, we got the snatch hook back on here. See if we can snag us another mullet. Been seeing tarpon blow up in here. That is what I really want to catch out here, y'all. That'd be so sick to catch a big tarpon. Oh, did I get one? No, nope. I thought I had one on the first, first cast out there. Hey, they're blowing up out there, Sean. What? They're blowing up. No, now I wish I had one free line. I don't know if I just cast it over you or not. <laughs> My snatch hook flew off, so I have yours. If you need one, I'll give it back. No there we go. Come on, baby. Nice. 
big old mullet. All right, another mullet on the circle hook up the lips. They say for these tarpon, it's best to free line them. I'm gonna stick with the weight for now. If I get another snook, I may take the weight off, free line these mullet and see if I can't get me a big tarpon while we're out here. That would be insane. Try to go get in front of the school. All right, another mullet deployed. We're either trying to get eight, or my mullet's kicking around good. Sean said he got eight and missed them. All right, well, when we first got out here, we struggled to find bait, finally found it, caught some fish pretty quickly. And then now we've been on the struggle bus again. We've uh, walked way down the beach, found some more mullet, but did not see any fish on them. It was pretty shallow down on this side. So we're gonna head back to the north a little bit See if we can find some more mullet that way. The structure on the beach was a little bit better. The trough was deeper. I'm gonna head back up here. Hopefully find the bait. That's, that's really all you gotta do is find the mullet. Find the mullet, there's gonna be fish there. So see what we can do. Sean's, uh, Sean's riding the struggle bus. He did, a, uh, he did a little challenge or whatever bet with Jack. Did you end up getting that tattoo yet? Not yet. He's supposed to get a Washington Redskins tattoo on his thigh. And I think since he keeps losing his fish and I've caught the snook, he may also have to get a Tennessee tattoo while he's at it. That ain't happening. So, uh, <laughs> but we're going to make our way back up here, see if we can get on him again. I'm getting eight. My GoPro's about to die. All right, I just got eight. My GoPro died. I still got a fish on. Just got battery changed. All right, there we go. <laughs> you got him on? Yeah, my GoPro battery died. I was trying to change batteries. Like literally right when I was getting eight, my battery died. Another big snook here, choking down these mullet. All right, this is so sick out here. Wish we had something like this up in Orange Beach. Big snook is insane. Sean's running way down the beach. Yo, I'm on right now, just north of the pier. Yeah, big spot? Yeah, I don't know if you're coming out, but I'm like about to lay in one currently, so. Okay, All right, that's it. There we go. Victor just called old Land Shark Outdoors. Told him where we're at. These swells are kind of tricky here. Like it does, it looks calm out and then all of a sudden you get one big breaker. All right. Can I get one of y'all to take a picture? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. We're gonna put them back real quick. All right, another big snook. Sean's all the way down the way, so I don't have my third person camera. I'll let this girl go. Whew. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. All right, guys, what an awesome day out there on the beach for the mullet run. I am back at the house and in the garage, if you can't hear the echo, I'm sorry about all that. Everybody's trying to go to sleep. It is late, but I told you I was gonna tell you about the rod. The rod I'm using is still in Sean's car and Sean's asleep, but I got the travel case and we're gonna tell you all about it. So Ninja Tackle, Matt Poole, and myself have been working on a rod for a little while. He asked me if I had a rod I was interested in building. You know, Matt has the bummy stick, and I was like, man, I do a lot of surf fishing. I fish a lot from the piers, fish a lot from boats, do a lot of inshore stuff. Like, how can we put together an inshore rod, an offshore rod, a beach rod, what can we do to try to encompass everything? And Matt is like an absolute genius when it comes to this stuff. And so he put together a five piece travel rod. I wanted some, cause I've, I've started to do a lot of traveling. I wanted something that I could take with me anywhere I go and always have an option for whatever it is that I may be doing. And a lot of y'all that watch this channel live in like middle America, um, come down to our areas to the beaches on vacation 
and have to travel and bring the stuff with you. And it's not always easy to bring big surf rods or whatever it may be down on vacation. So this kit is a five piece kit. It is a three piece rod. And so no matter, no matter what you have it set up as, you will have three pieces. And this rod can be set up as an eight foot rod, a nine foot rod, or a 10 foot rod. So uh, you're gonna have a butt piece, a bottom piece, a middle piece, and then your tip. And so you have three different tips that come with this, which is gonna give you that eight, nine, or 10. And so what I really like about this is the fact that, like right now today, I was using the nine foot section. So going out there, slinging the baits out off the beach, uh, worked perfect for that. If you're gonna do a lot of set rig fishing, or if you really gotta cast some baits further out, you can use a 10 foot section. If you're gonna be fishing some piers, um, some jetties, going out on a boat, don't want that longer rod, you can back it down to the eight foot section. So it gives you a ton of versatility going out there and having so many options as far as what you can do with that rod. Cause I know a lot of you traveling down, uh, wherever it may be, having to take multiple rods and stuff like that is really difficult. So we're trying to make it simple for y'all. One setup, three different rods that you can have with you. Of course, this is only gonna give you one actual rod at a time, but um, if you're going down and you only have room to take one thing with you, or for me, when I travel, if I am flying, it is easy to just take one setup and then have all those different options while I'm down there. So super excited about this. This is all still in the uh, prototype phase, I guess. This is the first one that has actually been in use. I caught the first fish, the first two fish, on the traveler um, so it's probably going to be like springtime before this comes out we still got some things we're going to change on the design and we're still testing it out just to make sure everything is working out so nothing is a hundred percent yet but super excited about this um, as, as long as everything goes good we have a few changes to make um, this all should be ready to go in the spring so make sure you all stay up to date with everything i'll link down below all of our information uh, so you can stay up to date with it all, but uh, we got a couple more days here in South Florida and then we're actually heading over to the west coast of South Florida with a uh, salt strong going to do a few days over there with them. So a lot of cool stuff coming up. So if you have not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget about Kelton's channel, Catching with Kelton. He is so excited. I'm going to be taking him out fishing with us tomorrow. He is dying to catch his first snook. He's been super excited. So I'm uh, gonna take him out on the beach with us tomorrow, hoping to get his first snook. I'm gonna be going after some tarpon. I love snook, but I want a tarpon. So tarpon's on my list, snook on Kelton's. Appreciate it guys. I'll catch y'all in the next one.